Alright guys, welcome back to more Magic Monday. Uh, I'm just making sure that we are indeed recording, and we are indeed awesome. So, we're going to do a sealed Dominaria uh, for our video today. Let's see what we get. Oh, this is crap. Oh, mm, no, two Lich's Masteries. So that I can't lose to get that is... I mean, it's nice that I get two rares there, so yay. Grand Grand Warlord might be the one that I choose. Maybe Dread Shade. If I, if I have a lot of wizards or if I have uh, historic spells and a lot of artifact stuff. So we'll, we'll see. Oh, but two Lich's Masteries is crap. I... Want my notebook? Where's my notebook? Okay. I am actually going to just write down how many, like, white cards that I have here and whatnot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 white. Because normally when I do, like, seals and drafts, I get all of the cards, like, right in front of me. So it's actually kind of hard to, like, visualize this from a computer standpoint. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 blue. Uh, oh, and let me also separate that by creatures and whatnot. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 11 creatures for white. Blue is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 creatures. Okay. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 black cards with... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight creature spells. Red, green, and then we'll get into our multicolor. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything here that's, like, fantastic. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen red cards. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight creatures. And so that makes seven non creatures. And then green one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And their creatures are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's actually not horrible there. And then we have a red-green and a green-blue. Or two green-blues, actually. But then it's, And then we have artifacts, which we don't have that many of. Okay. Maybe a green-blue... Do I have any sort of mana-fixing... Skittering Surveyor, which would allow me to get lands out of my deck so I can get specific lands that I would need. So that wouldn't be horrible. Tatoya. Land enters the battlefield, gain a life, and draw a card. What does Lich's Mastery say? Whenever I gain a life, draw that many cards? Oh. Let's look at wizards. Oh, get rid of the S. Five wizard creatures. Hmm. N 
Ore and equipment cost one less to cast. Let's look at our artifacts here. Short swords and the sorcerer's wand would be free. Uh, aura. Oops. Let's take a look at the aura. Three aura spells, and that's it. Hmm. I think this might be our color combination. Just to, uh, because, like, they, they match at least one of their colors. This gives me a little bit of mana fixing uh, for whenever a creature attacks. I can get red mana or green mana if I absolutely need it. So that does help. So I say let's focus just on... I say let's focus on these, although the white might not be a bad idea to combine with just green. But we'll take a look at that. Whenever a wizard enters the battlefield... But we only have like five wizards, and I think one of them has an effect. Two of them have an effect. So whoop diddy whoop. Um, Chevy and Fire has some removal. Yeah, this one has an effect that would trigger. Man, this is this is this is horrible. Maybe I don't do it this way. Now, Sport Crown is not really going to do much because, like, he's my only Sapperling. Hmm. Okay, let's get rid of these guys for now. I feel like Song of Release would be good enough. This gets me two creatures. With the top three cards of the library, grab a creature or a land. Mana Spider is nice. Has more of our high-end stuff. Back and stall me a little bit. Uh, but... You're worthless to me, basically, in this. Sack an artifact, draw a card. Yeah, but see, I don't really have that many low drops for something like this. Plus three, plus three in Trample. Uh, what was our Wizards? So I only have two red Wizards, so that's not great. Let's drop the blue for now and see what I'm looking at here. Deal four damage to a creature if it was kicked. Deal it to a player or a planeswalker as well. Hmm. Fire Elemental isn't a horrible card at all. Thorn Elemental would end up winning games. I mean, a 4 4 4 4 isn't horrible. Let's look at artifacts now as well. Icy Manipulator. Nader Navigator's Compass gives me uh, mana. That's a lot of low cost stuff, though. Like, that's five one drops. And then, like, nothing for two drops. Oh, you know what? I think... Just looking at... The, uh, white here... I think we're gonna want to go this. So let's grab Pegasus, Danatha... 
uh, these um, Sarah Angel Daring Archaeologist let's jump into our here grab that that Skittering surveyors allow me to get, um, uh, I don't even know what I'm thinking. They allow me to get lands out of my deck. Uh, we'll do ma uh, that one, that one, Mammoth Spider, Thorn Elemental. Still need seven cards, huh? Dauntless Bodyguard. Sacrifice Dauntless Bodyguard target creature you've the creature you've chosen will get indestructible. Hmm. Oh, do I not have Yeah, throw you in. That's two creatures for the price of one. So what am I looking at here? I have thirteen four. Artif get rid of a creature or a enchantment isn't horrible. I mean it is five mana, which means we are upping our late game, but that's fine. That's just plus two, plus two. That I would almost never end up using for the negative, for the six mana, so. Turn another historic permanent, so I could re-get my Song of Freilies. Let's splash blue. Grab these guys. Don't need the multicolor. We'll splash blue for a little bit of like control. Uh, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of late game. That is a hell of a lot of late game. Let's um. I mean, that's ten cards there though. Let's drop one of those. And bring in that instead. Yeah, sixteen seven I think is fine. We're not splashing in that many blue, but for some reason, two, three, four, five. It wants us to have more blue, I guess. Even though we should have more white. So I'm going to increase that, get rid of one of those. I think that's better. Six greens, six planes. Because of the adventurous impulse. I might actually, let's grab, um, let's grab the navigator's compass and remove something. Maybe another weighted memory just to lower my mana curve. My mana curve is still very high. Like, I have 11 cards that are 4 plus mana. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Why not? I think that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna we're gonna do that. And I don't have it. I don't have a name for this. This is uh. We'll we'll see. Uh, this would be uh. Bant wait to see. That's what that's what we're calling it because. Bant is that color combination, which is green, white, blue. And I have... Our rares were so crap. Like, if we had more wizards, I could probably end up... Ooh, that's actually not bad. That gets me my blue right there. Um, so I think we'll actually throw that down. Right away. Because now I have... I can bounce a permanent to somebody's hand. Throw that down next, that down, keep that for now. Yeah, I think this is how we're going to do it. Now I only need the navigator compass for like kicking the blink of an eye. Too white. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I don't need it. 
Well, I might, yeah, I'll take the action. We'll grab a blue. Because now I won't need it. Pass. That's fine. I'm not going to block just yet. I don't know why you would tap the green for that. Like, I have an extra blue there, but whatever. Let's see what happens. He probably has a wizard's lightning or something is my guess. Do I return the skittering surveyor in my hand? N no. That's fine. Next turn will be the spider. Yep, that's fine. You'll hit me for quite a bit. Or actually, it'll be the... Let's do the um, explorer, because then I can make the explorer, the explorer a 4-4. Four -four. So you will mill four. Nice. And I will put that to you. And then end the turn. So what did I get rid of here? One land, a Tiana ship's caretaker, which is interesting, and then a goblin bloodstone, or a bloodstone goblin. Hmm. He can eventually... Oh, would you look at that? Alright. Well, I'm glad it was just that guy and not my spider. My spider's a lot better anyway. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to play Toya, play a land, gain a life, draw a card, and then we'll equip her. There we go. Now we're going to get card advantage, because we'll start drawing. But I'm also going to need lands. And I mean, I do have 11 more lands in these 26 cards, so maybe, but okay. You have a short sword? I've had one out for a while. Squee! <laughs> oh. oh, squee. Yep, short sword. Make you a 4 3. Hmm. Nah, I think for now, no blocks. Pass the damage. We'll let you have the four damage. I want to keep the toy out in case I get a land. Then I'll play the Mammoth Spider. Yeah, there we go. Play the land, draw a card. Beautiful. Play the Mammoth Spider. Then pass the turn. Now he has his Memorial of Glory able to be activated over here. He has he has enough mana to be able to get rid of it to get two creatures. But it's not particularly going to end up helping when his uh, creatures are... Um... Okay, so now what I'll do is I will... I don't have the mana to kick, so I'm going to blink of an eye the Benelish Honor Guard back to his hand. He loses the dub and the short sword unequips. Yep, you may have your Benelish Honor Guard. Dub is a fantastic card. Yep, you may have that back. You are now back to a 
I'll play a land, draw a card. Okay, we'll play a Pegasus Corsair, and I will Song of Freelies. Um, there's no point in me attacking at the moment. Ah, interesting. Plus one, plus one on the creature with the greatest power. So it's Benelish uh, Honor Guard, or whatever. And then it eventually gets Flying First Strike Lifelink. Okay. Resolves. You get a 5 4. Uh, no. Pass the blockers. You have a lot of red open, but I think you have a... I think this is a bluff, is the thing. So I'm going to do this. I think it's a bluff. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, he can cast, you know, Squee from anywhere. Big whoop did he whoop. But I'm pretty sure it was a bluff with the fact that, uh, because I don't think Sure Strike is in this set. Fervent Strike is, which gives a creature plus one plus O oh in First Strike. But I'm pretty, yeah, there you go. You're casting Squee, you'll equip him with a sword. Although I'm just going to fly over him, so it's not going to matter. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's cool. I'll gain a life and draw a card. Ooh, that'll be good. We'll fly over and get at you for five. Yep. Squeeze now a four three. That's fine. 20 cards to 22. Nice. Get that token producing going. I don't want to lose... I, I want this guy for now. Alright. Now all my guys have Vigilance right now. And Indestructible. Uh, you can have Flying. Sarah Angel. Oh, I should have I should have equipped the short sword over to the Sarah Angel. So he, he will have flying first strike and uh life link. Yeah, if I moved the short sword over to the Sarah Angel, I had a 5/5 five, five versus this 4/3. But his flying only lasts for a turn, so I can just chump with the Pegasus. Okay, if it was kicked, which it is not being, he would have returned an instant or sorcery to his hand. I don't think I care about the squee. I really don't. Okay. Okay. He he gave up. 
I mean, yeah, I had plenty of flying with the way that I was going to end up blocking, too, so I think that was fine. That seemed to work okay. I mean, we started a little heavy with the lands and uh, not many creatures, but I think we did fine. This deck could be very, uh... This deck could go probably like four to five wins. Okay, so I need one more land to get out either of these. This gets me a third land, which then can get me closer to them. My opponent is going first, so I have two draws. Three draws. Because turn one, draw, play land. Turn two, draw, play this. Turn three. So I have three draws to get my third land. So I think we'll keep it because we do also have our one drop, so we won't... We won't be risking the possibility of discarding. So we'll do that. Ooh, Danatha. First strike, Vigi and Lifelink. As well as Aura and Equipment spells cost one less, which really I think our only equipment is the sword. So big whoop did he do. But... So I think what I'm going to end up doing, if I get a land, because I would really like a land right now, Oh. That's a shame. Uh, whenever... Okay, so whenever I cast a stork spell, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow, you're going heavy fly. Okay. There's our third land. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna choose the trapper. And the reason for that is, let's say I go to get a land. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play Skittering Surveyor which will tap down a cre- oh no. Oh, that's fantastic. I think this one we lose. So I'll get- I'll at least get my fourth land. I'll tap that down, sure. Take the action, grab that, I guess. Play the land. That- uh, flying first strike, damn. So we'll- at least get in for four, I guess. And I could play Totoya or Danatha, which would trigger this, but that's not going to help when he's, you know, got flying. Like, I'm essentially on a two-turn clock right now, unless I get, like, Navigator's Compass off the top of my head. Jesus. Come on. Okay, so my, my solution is grab Mammoth Spider. Yep. Mammoth Spider is going to be the way here. Um, so first what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swing that. Thank you. Okay. Man of Spider it is. Now, Man of Spider can block this Sarah Disciple. This puts me... Are you kidding me? That is... Redonkulous. No blocks. I'm looking here. I don't I don't think I have anything. I can exile that. But then I have to block that. That'll get through. I can only play one mammoth spider. Um Yeah, he he has that one. I I can't I can't get through the three flyers with only five mana. But damn. He gets a Lyra, and I get two Lich's Masteries. Really? Oh, pain. A real pain in the butt. <laughs> I'll keep it. Three mana. Mana fixing for if I draw a blue spell. Um, or if I draw just green and blue mana, and I need one more white. Uh, this, I can play turn three. Gets me two creatures. I'm fine with this, and especially since we have 
many turns before, uh, well, there's our other white. So, really, our navigator compass is for blue mana at the moment. That'll help stall a bit. Okay, throw that here. I, li I like to try keeping this, like, sort of organized in the way that I'm going to go. Move things around when I have to uh, for, um, for responses and stuff. I've, I've been trying to get more into that because it's also the way that I end up doing uh, paper magic. Oh, he's, oh, he has a frickin' Dargaz, doesn't he? Everyone with their awesome crap. Bob's Tractor, if you have a Dargaz, you let me know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He has a Dargaz. Grow from the ashes, get more land out, get the... He has a Dargaz in his hand right now. All right, he has a green mana. Pass, pass. My turn. Well, I th I'll play the blue one, because I just drew that, just so I have better mana. There we go. Play that. Maybe those, maybe that instead. It's one of these two before the Mana Spider, so... I have I have no reason right now to cast the Mana Spider until... Or the Mana Spider until we get a flyer on the field. I expect a Grow from the Ashes kicked to get two lands out. No, but he has a Mammoth Spider, so I mean, that's a thing. Well, so now it's going to be that. Okay, so we'll do a... We'll do a white and pass the turn. Oh, yay, Feral Abomination. That's... Fantastic. No blocks. Pass. My turn. Well, that'll help eventually. Now, do I throw out... Now, here's the question. Do I throw out the Sarah Angel and the Mammoth Spider just so I have a constant blocker for the Mammoth Spider? I think I do. I think that's what we should do. Throw out the Mammoth Spider now. Have a blocker for the Mammoth Spider so I don't have to keep taking three or lose one of these two. I'll, like, chump the Feral Abomination with the Saffirling guy. I don't care. Um, that's a pain in the butt. It's going to use it. Tap the Mammoth Spider, of course. And then I think it'll be Sarah Angel. Is what I'm going to throw. Which means Thorn Elemental is going to be... Uh, Thorn Elemental is going to be worthless because he's just going to tap it down. Yeah. I'm going to just chump block that. Hmm. Trying to think here on what I could do. Well, there's my ice lead manipulator. <sighs> okay. I think, though, what I'm going to do... I'm going to play Tatoya. He has red and black mana, so honestly it's not going to be too much. It might be a... Is that a Dominari card? It might be. I don't remember. Play land. Gain a life draw card. Okay, that's another Mammoth Spider. That's not horrible. And I'm actually going to swing out with my two guys. Okay. He's going to tap down to Toya. Which will allow him to get in for 8, which will put me to 10. Now, if he does not play another creature, in response to that, I'm swinging in for 8, which drops him to 7. Oh, hello, two-headed giant. 
That's an interesting one. Okay. Two Headed Giant actually isn't a horrible rare for uh, this sort of situation. It's a 4 4 4 4, which is very nice. And then it can either have Double Strike or Menace. Granted, it could also just have nothing. But I mean, still, a Double Striking Menace. Um, 4 4 is not horrible. I'm not going to block, even though he tapped, he didn't use his Icy Manipulator. He might be waiting for it. I'm going to I'm going to take no blocks. Cuz now I can kind of just build up an army here and wait it out. Okay, I could either mill him some cards, play another big spider, or icy manipulator one of his creatures, but I think I want big spider. Hoping that would have been a land. It would have been nice. Okay. He'll see Manipulator down one of my guys, is my guess. Yep, one of the spiders. Oh, and then he's going to tap the other spider in hopes that he gets Menace. Which would then kill my other guys. Because if he gets Menace, this puts me to one. <laughs> it was if I were to, like, double block the Mammoth Spider, which, you know, he's just going to tap down the Mammoth Spider. I'm probably not making the best moves. I figured I would need more creatures for this type of onslaught, because he has some big creatures. He doesn't have a Dargaz, though. So, unless he's waiting to cast Dargaz with one mana still open for the Manipulator. Yeah, that resolves. That's fine. You move to your combat, I'm going to lose to Toya, too. Is I, I think I'm going to choose to lose to Toya. Okay, don't be double strike. Tailhead, so nothing. So I'm going to lose to Toya here because I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of the big Death Toucher. It'll also allow me to take the least amount of damage. Or, well, second least amount of damage. Oh, you suck. Yeah, he he has this game. I got I got nothing. Uh, really? I don't I don't get why it does that. Uh, where are we? MTG Arena. End the task. Open it again. I I don't get why it does that. Like, I hasn't done that for, like, maybe the last one or two recordings I've done, but... Alright, play. We'll get three packs of Dominaria out of this. Plus the three packs we already opened, too. So that really helps go towards, like, our vault and adding more to our collection. Alright, Wombat Combat. This actually is not horrible. Keep. Okay, so that's going to be the order I play it. No, I'm not going to So I'm going to play it in this order. Get this. Play my land. Play, um... Play the compass. Tap down whatever creature he has out. And then, um... Oh, wow. Song of Freilies, too. Now he might have a Shivian Fire too, which could have just really screwed up my plans. Or not. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god. 
All right, we'll do another trapper. And swing with the first one. Still expecting a Shivian fire because he's looking at his hand. Fungal infection. I mean, close enough. Yeah, it will kill the trapper. Well, damn. Now I can't get double tap down to guarantee myself like six damage every turn. Red, black. Hmm. Okay, well. Is it. Is, no, it's not the same thing again. Um. We'll end the turn, because then we can. If he somehow gets two creatures out, I can Icy Manipulator, tap down one, and then icy, use the Icy Manipulator to tap down the other. I just want to keep this in my hand for now. Five mana. <laughs> Loses all other abilities. Well, you're a jerk. Well, now I'm a wall. I'm a wall with an arrow. Alright, well, I guess... <sighs> I guess I'll do this. And this, I guess. Although, do I lose the ability to be able to tap for mana? No, I don't. Okay, okay. Till the Until my next turn, creatures have the tap for mana. So I can still use the Icy Manipulator. Man, you have not played any creatures. There it is. I'm going to tap that down, please. Thank you. I'll play this guy. Oh, you suck. Damn you, Wombat Combat. But, I mean, Cast Down is such a good card. Yeah, you get you can hit me for five. That seems to be fine. Well, I'll have a one... I'll have a one-five... Uh, I have a one-five wall, or I could bounce it, make it a three... Um, whatever. Uh, make it a 3-2 that has its ability again. I think I'll pass for now. Because, I mean, I'm not going to be taking damage right now unless he gets more creatures. Because this can, this can kill this, but if I switch this back to a 3-2, these kill each other. And then Icy Manipulator... Get rid of Lingering Spirit for now. Looks like we're going to be in a... One, two, three... That's six mana. Let's grab a seventh. Gains indestructible. Right. Take the action. We'll get a planes out of there. And play it. And I'll also gain... Uh, I'll gain three life. Now, if we get one more land, we can kick a Crozen Druid, which will give us uh, ten life. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we need one more mana. Fine, that resolves. I don't have really anything for that. I mean, I 
I could icy it. I do have flyers in here, but I could icy it. Two top, zero bottom. Okay, has one card in hand. His 3-4 is going to start getting over. On the next turn. Okay, well... Damn, I need one more mana, actually, if I want to be able to keep this up. So let's pass the turn. So I have an idea as to what I can do. Tap down the Sphinx. Bounce the Lingering Phantom. And draw a card with the blink of an eye. He has 9 mana, I have 8, so we really have not been drawing that well. Resolves. Tap the Sphinx down. Pass to attackers. Yep, yep. Kick, blink of an eye. Pop that back to your hand. Okay, there's my land. Pass, pass. My turn. That's my response to the Cloud Reader Sphinx. So, I'm going to kick this, which negates your fight with fire. Huh. Pass the turn. I mean, I think I could just keep tapping down the Cloud Reader Sphinx. Oh, no. He's going to get back his uh, fight with fire, and he's going to kick it. Damn. <laughs> yep. Yep, there it is. There there it is. Tap down that. I don't I don't need to do anything else right now. I can I can do a stall game right now if I need to. Okay, I'm waiting until we get a Tatoya before I play that land. Okay. He is going to kick the fight with fire. Blast me in the face for 8 again. Or 10. I mean, I don't need to cast the Blessed Light until I absolutely have to. Like, I lose the... Okay. You killed my 1-5. Oh, no. Well, now you can't... Oh, you're going to fight with fire to kill my other two creatures. No, but you'll kick a Shivian Fire to kill that one. Okay. Oh, why'd I do that? Oops. Okay, again, keeping these until I get a Tatoya. Two here, eight to my face, just ten to my face. Wizard. Okay, so... Resolves, enters, I'm going to, or I guess I have to wait until we move to attack. So I'm going to tap this down, 
Okay, so I know everything in his hand. Uh, I have, yeah. And then I'm going to exile this. I'm not stupid. You'd pay the three mana to keep that alive. And then I would lose my guy so I wouldn't have... Yep. Okay. My turn. Mammoth Spider. Yes. Now he's probably going to bolt the spider for five, is my guess. Spider for five, me for five, with the fight with fire. And then I tap down Lingering Phantom just because it's the biggest one. Come on, deck. I have two Tatoyas in my deck. I should be drawing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have six lands left and two Tatoyas in here. So I know eight of my ten cards. <laughs> we'll tap down that. Three, four, five, six puts me to seven. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. Well, if he has any sort of pump, any sort of burn. Memorial of Genius allows him to draw some cards. Yeah, well, I'll tap that down for now. I mean, Tatoya will get me to two, which really is not going to help me. Yeah, I'm just going to auto pass the rest of the turn. Well, Skittering Surveyor, I can get me a land, and then I die. So, no point. Uh, too much flying. Too much burn. Which is actually a Grixis flying deck. I was not really expecting to see in Dominaria. So I got 400 gems and three packs of Dominaria. Oh, it... it it ended up showing up here before it showed here. So it knew I got a rare wild card. Okay. Um, we'll see what I use that on. Okay, common wild card, mythic wild card. Ooh, Varric. And an uncommon wild card. Hey, Grand Warlord. All right, I'll have, I'll have two of those. Okay, let's go to decks, craft the deck. Uh, I do know some of the mythics that I want. Uh, you. They have to be blue. Okay, so stuff we can craft. Um, didn't I choose mythic? No, no. Not collected. Mythic rare. Okay, so I want... I'm going to grab this. Wait, five mana, three mana. You know what? Yeah, I'll grab Tezzeret first. I'm, I'm making like a Thoptery-esque type deck. A rare, a common, and an uncommon. Okay. Uh, we'll just go back to our normal uh, stuff, and we'll just get rid of everything. All right, so crafting, a common, uncommon, and rare. So there's a uncommon... Uh, and I'm going to do the others off camera because I'm going to be right back, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next week.